right so let us see how can we run multiple spec files so there are two ways one is to write multiple spec file paths and separate them with comma so here you go run tests multiple spec files if you want to run you can give the spec file name comma and then spec file name like this so if you keep on giving multiple specs separated by comma then you can run that is one way another way now for example you felt that test 1 and test 2 comes under one module so in that case you better create one new folder and first two test cases are related to green card website right so copy these two test cases and place it in the green card you can remove this later okay i am just placing these two test cases in one new folder called green card right and now you can actually tell to run only the test cases which are present in green card module so it is again just very simple go back to your package.json and firstly start writing green card tests make sure you give the comma at the end okay right so npm run test is common first of all we have to run cypress run and thereafter we have to give flag hyphen hyphen spec is the flag to run the spec files right and now you need to give the file path here okay, this code starts here and ends here between this you have to pass file path because if you see file path have written in quotes okay so cypress slash integration slash green card now inside this there are two test cases if you want to run all the test cases which are present inside this folder instead of giving the specific test name just say star that's it so it will by default execute all the spec files present inside this green card folder if you put regular expression with star okay so this is the way how you want to execute a specific set of test cases if you want to run one specific module make sure that those are in one folder and you can use regular expression if those are not in one folder then just put comma and keep on writing if you want to target specific test all right so there is an error here because the slash in string is not allowed so you can put another slash here but actually even double quotes inside double quotes is also not allowed to accept this double quote you have to give forward slash so that error will be gone so that you need not give double slash inside this so basically it will not accept the quote inside the double quote so to make it accept in any programming language you have to give forward slash and here also there is one more double quote right so give the forward slash so that it accepts without any issue nice you see that error is gone and this code is for the first one so now this test will execute all the test cases which are present in your green card test so save everything and that's it you have configured all the scripts and you can just call any of your script with npm run and that will take care so let me actually run this npm run green card and let's see if that's only picking the two test cases which are present in green card module npm run green card test did we save everything okay and cypress integration green card everything looks good so let's see if it's picking only those two tests look at here only two found test one and test two okay by seeing logs you can clearly understand that it's running in headless mode because you did not put head it's running in 
electron because you did not ask to run in chrome if you want to do that just add the flag here or create one more script and say green card test chrome so this is how you can actually create scripts and also there is another super cool feature we have with cypress which is test retries which cypress have added that feature recently so basically if your test is failed now for example we just ran npm run green card test right so two test cases inside it both are passed now let's say test 2 is failed so there could be any reason for this test case failure either it could be your web application is down at that moment or your internet connection is very slow so there could be whatever reason your automation test cases generally will fail sometimes based upon the inconsistency of your application or your bandwidth connection could be any reason right so this everyone knows that so that is the common reason for failures in automation so what generally people does is they run those test cases again next time and they will check if that is due to inconsistency with application or if there is any real issue with app okay but in cypress if test case failed automatically cypress will try one more time okay it will run one more time and see if this is a real failure due to bug or any inconsistency with app at that moment so you can tell cypress to rerun it so that's the super cool feature we have you need not do or you cannot run everything manually okay so in the recent versions cypress have introduced this feature so you can just google with cypress test retries so in their blog they have given how to use that test retry feature to run your test one more time if it reports failure so here you can read that they have clearly given that in cypress version from this version test retries by default they are disabled so it will not run again by default but you can enable it so that it will run one more time if it detects failure okay so if you scroll down this is the property so basically here you are running your test using cypress run command right so you can see that npm run test in test you are giving cypress run to trigger your test cases so if you are using cypress run command instead of using gui mode with cypress open so this is what you have to use run mode colon one if you give one so cypress will try one time if your test fails if you give five then cypress will try five times before it actually reports failure okay so if it suddenly fails then how many number of times you provide here that many times cypress will keep on running that test again and again if it passes then it overrides all previous results and show you the latest result of pass okay but in general people will give run mode of one so that they want to try one more time so that they don't want to take any chance if it is due to any inconsistency with web app so to use that they were asking to use this json in cypress.json configuration file all right so let me go to cypress.json um here i just need to provide this information because this outside braces we have already uh, present here right so let me add this and close the brace and comma not required and put it here you can remove these two lines perfect let me introduce a failure so we can feel this future only if our test fails right so what i can do in the test2 file instead of going to rahulshetty.academy.com selenium practice let's go to only the home page so obviously in the home page we don't have all these uh, edit boxes so test will fail here only but we have a retry mechanism here so let us see if it triggers one more time and see if it reports pass or fail okay so i'll pass the execution and i'll resume once the execution is completed 
all right execution is completed now let's look at the logs so what does it complain so first test pass because test1.js we did not make any change but the bug what we introduced in test2 right so if you scroll down it clearly says that another one is failed which is a test2 and if you carefully observe it have two screenshots so you might be wondered that yes if it fails it has to trigger again so basically this test to have to run two times right because after seeing the first failure cypress immediately triggered one more time because of you were sitting in json file but here you see that it's showing as only one time run so if you read their documentation they were telling that will retry the test be counted as more than one test recording in my billing you see that nope test records during cypress run will be counted the same with or without test retries so that means though it have run four times or five times here it will show as one test only so in the log you may not see that how many times it reran but one clue is very clear that you can look at here screenshots two right so basically when test fail it will take one screenshot but why did it take two screenshots here because this test ran two times and whenever it failed every time it took failure screenshot so that's why it is reporting two screenshots here okay now you go and um, change this comment out this feature and run again so it will fail but here you will see screenshot one only so that means when you commented out this test ran only once and if it failed it just shown the report but in our case it triggered again but even it triggered again the issue was still there because it's still going to the home page obviously it is not finding all this so second time also it failed that's why second time it took screenshot again okay so this is a key point for you to understand so that's how you can use this feature this is really really comes into handy when you work in real time projects because if you have hundreds of scripts um obviously out of 100 you won't see 100% pass rate every time so you may see around 80 test cases pass and 20 fail so 20 when 20 are failed all 20 will not be a real issues it's just inconsistency so cypress smartly will trigger those 20 again it might pass again so that time it will have real report of real failures by avoiding inconsistency reporting if you use this retries mechanism i hope you understood the importance of this of having in your cypress.json so this is recently introduced okay now it's time to move to jenkins and configure the scripts there okay you need not remember all this whenever you want to give so we will parameterize this all scripts in jenkins build and you will just click on with a button there that's very interesting i'll show that in our next lecture but before that firstly you need to understand what is jenkins so we will go back to the next lecture and see how to download jenkins and set up in your machine and then i will start creating a new job of configuring scripts and running this whole framework from that tool okay meet you in the next lecture